going to do is we're going to pin up this uh, scolopendra centipede and I've decided to do it in attack pose. So first thing I'm going to do is make sure that the fangs are pliable so I can mount the face up. I'm just going to get some pins here. First things first, we're going to set the centipede in place so all the curves are in order. And what we want is a nice S-shape curve. We're trying to achieve that as best as possible. So we pinned one side down and here, that's the S that I'm going for. Okay, so now that I have that in place, I'm going to put a pair of force, uh, pins at the curves to make sure the curves don't move. And now it's time to make it look symmetrical. So these guys are normally up. So I'm going to try and give it that lifelike pose. A lot of people, when they pin these guys, I've noticed that they don't actually give it a lifelike pose, so it looks like it's obviously dead. I'm going to try my best to give it that lifelike pose. It really impose, it's really impressive when it's dry and it looks like it's alive. Okay, so... What I've tried to achieve here is a, a rhythmic um, shape of how the legs are. And obviously with each curve, they're getting the legs are getting closer to each other and then further apart. So with every single pair of legs, I gotta make sure I put a pin so that the legs as they dry, they don't curl up. It's a lot of pins that I have to use, so just bear with me. The reason I'm putting these pins this way and not really adjusting these legs because I'm really happy with how they are positioned. So we'll let it dry like this. This one here is going to be a way out like that. Same with this. Now all of these smaller legs in here that are close to each other, I want them to remain close to each other. I think it's got a really nice effect. Just want to make sure they don't retract. So I'm kind of using those spikes at the edge of the feet to penetrate the plastizone just ever so slightly to give it that friction so that as it's drying, it can hook into the plastizone and it doesn't curl up and look like an obviously dead specimen. This is a uh, Scolopendra subspinies from the Philippines. It's a really nasty uh, species, got very aggressive uh, and got a really powerful bite. The venom is potent. As a young person, you would definitely not want to get bitten by this. It would be very problematic. You would definitely need to seek medical attention. So you can see here there's a leg that's stuck underneath, so I'm going to gently move that out. Don't move the camera so much, I'm on. I'm going to be still. Okay, so now we're getting towards the head. I'm going to stop putting the pins closer to the head as we're going to get the head to come up, looking, making it look like it's investigating to see if there's food nearby. That's the kind of pose I want it to have.
Your job is to try and keep the camera still. Okay. Because they don't want the people who are watching this to get more sick than they already will by seeing and getting motion sickness. So now I'm going to prop this up, the head up, like that. And then put this right by the other fang so now it's up like this. Now it looks like it's an attack or in curiosity mode. And I have to gently relax this because the legs want to come back. So I'll do that. And with these guys, I want to make sure that they don't go down with gravity. And then there was one tiny, well, one big pin, but a tiny position right here where we support it from drooping. There we go. Now, looks pretty good, right? Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make those antennas stay up. What do you think? Good. Do you like it? Yeah. Does it look like it's in life position? Yeah. Okay, and then we shouldn't mess with it. Let's have a close look from the sides. Looking good? Yeah. Do we, we have got a nice curve to it? It looks like a natural curve. What do you yeah. think? Should we let it dry? Yeah. On to the next? Yep. Awesome.